Hey everybody, and welcome to today's video in which we are going to cover one of the most overlooked things when it comes to modeling interiors and exteriors, and that is how to model a window and a window frame that is either aluminium or a PVC one. Now, why, why do I say most commonly overlooked? Well, whenever uh, you see interiors or exteriors, most of the people, when they're modeling something like that, for the frame, they choose to put in just a, a, a box and then give it a slight chamfer and leave it as such. But in reality, when you're doing your interiors, if you have an actual PVC or an actual aluminum window and you kind of put in a tad bit more time into putting it so it has some more details, when you're rendering, you get a nice amount of subtle details that can give some uh, re a realism to your scene and seeing as how it's a very easy thing to do let's cover it up in today's lesson so for this what i what i've done is i pretty much opened up uh, google i just typed in windows profile and you can see that over here you have a lot of different profiles for windows now if you scroll down you're going to see some of them as cutouts as like this one for example you can see exactly what type of a window we are looking at and if you take a look at it you can actually even see the outline of this window and this can be very helpful in our case because we can use this to basically plan out how we're going to build this now i can simply scroll down and look for one of these uh, drawings over here or if I don't have a drawing or a simple technical spec like this one, I can use any image. For this uh, video, I'm actually going to use just that. I'm going to use an image. What I've done here is I've taken one of the, those images. I've overlaid a blue uh, layer and I'm going to freeze it here. There we go. And now I have the base on which I can start to model this thing. So let's let's see how we can do this. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to logically approach this. So basically I have three elements over here. The first one is the base. The second one is the frame for our window. And the third one is the actual glass inside. As you can see, this type of window has three glass panels. So let's start with the lowest one. Now, since we are going to be doing this for visualization, all we got to do is make sure that we show the things that are actually going to be visible at the camera. So we don't really need to input all of this internal details here. We just need to outline the external details. Now, since this is going to be embedded into the wall, we don't really have to have this in in there as well so what i'm going to do here is i'm simply going to go with the line and now try and follow along this edge now here's the other thing you need to be mindful when you're modeling straight from a uh, image you're going to have some perspective distortion which means that this wasn't uh photographed orthographically or directly from the front so we're going to have to do some uh, tweaking in order to get it to be straight now here's where we start from here i'm going to go to here now i want to have a straight line downwards i'm going to hold down shift get a straight line till about there or i can go up till over here which is where it ends and now since even though this is at an angle we know that this is supposed to be straight so i'm going to hold down shift again and drag till about there put it upwards over here I'm simply trying to follow along as closely as possible, which won't be a problem if we have some uh, slight imperfections, because we can, as soon as we're done, we can fix some of this, these uh, vertices. All right, so I want to select this with the move and put it on the X like that. And now let's simply just do a quick, overlook on this see what we have I can take this go with the fillet and make it so it's 
rounder like that. I can pretty much select any of these vertices, make it a Bezier corner, move it on. It's not really that uh, big of a deal, but it can help, especially if you have a scene in which you want to have the window open. If you're, if you're not going to have the window open, this is really an overkill. But again, we do want to have this. So for now, I'm simply going to go over, try to fill in some of the details over here. I don't like that. And fine, that's cool. One more fillet over there. And I think that should be good for now all right awesome now here's the thing uh in between this element and the other one you have these little guys they're the rubbery portion of the window that kind of stops the boat windows from shutting on each other we can add that in as a either as a form but for now i'm actually going to leave it out because it's not going to be too big of a deal so again i'm going to go and create one more shape for my outer or my frame window. So click, drag it up till about there. There we go. Now, again, we have that per uh, perspective distortion over here. So click, make sure it's straight. There we go, up till about down. There we go. Oops, tablet's ringing. <laughs> there we go. So as you can see, just loosely try to follow along like that. Close the spline. And now simply do a bit of tweaking to get this into the right shape. All right. Um, again, I'm going to use either the fillet or the chamfer. Mm, chamfer is going to give us a much more uh, sharp turn, like that. So a very sharp cut. There we go. I'm going to turn this into a corner, like that. And with the help of the fillet, we can get more rounder edges, like that one. Over with this one. That one can help like that. And more or less, if you want, you can put in some more uh, details. In. But just so it's easier for me and to take, save some time because this is actually a tutorial, I'm going to leave it on like, uh, like it is right now. And with this, we basically have these two lines that can actually be used for a base on which we are going to create our window. So since we already have the shape, let's. Well, the only thing that we need right now is the size of the window, the actual window. In order to get that, I'm simply going to go ahead in our either a left or the front viewport. I'm going to create one rectangle. So this is going to be the size of the window. Now this is in. Uh, Usually, this is going to be dictated by whatever size uh, hole you have for the window. In my case, since I started off from a simple or an empty see, uh, scene, I can have this be custom size, so it really doesn't matter. In your case, it, this is probably going to be the outline of your window uh, hole. So now, once we have that outline for the window hole or the window frame, the easiest way to get this to follow it is you go over the modifier list and from here you go down to bevel, bevel profile. You select this and all, all of a sudden you get this uh, plane here and these options as a parameter. Now what we want to do here is first of all we want to pick a profile. So as soon as you click on pick profile it's going to uh, ask you to select which profile you want it to follow. Since this is going to be the frame. I want it to follow our frame profile. So click on it, and right away you're gonna get this type of an effect. 
as you can see we no longer have that polygon but instead we have this profile following that line but as you might notice this is not ac actually what we want to achieve because even though we made it uh, as we did in the viewport it's really not following that uh, axis so in order to get that fixed what we're going to do is go over to the bevel profile click on the plus select the profile gizmo and now with the profile gizmo selected you can rotate this now if you rotate it for 90 degrees like this you're going to notice again we are not getting the desired result so let's try and rotate it like this for 90 degrees we can see that even if if it's like this the details that are supposed to be on the inside or the other side so we're gonna rotate it upwards on this side like that so now we have here the framework for our window there we go and what we want to do here is make one more line for our inner window and to make things easier I'm actually gonna scale this uh, existing one so I'm gonna hold down shift scale it inwards like that make it a copy make sure you don't make it an instance because we don't want it to affect the outer uh, shell we just want to make it a copy click OK and now pick profile and choose the inner portion here right away you're gonna notice that our window changed so now we're gonna have to have a bit of a scale upwards this is a simple way to do it it's a bit uh, uh, it's not the most correct way or most precision based uh, approach but it will get the job done as you can see right here so now we have our window and our window frame and as it is right now it's really not that visible but for example if I rotate this window like that you're gonna notice before I rotate it though I'm gonna go and click on the hierarchy and I'm simply gonna move this on the y-axis so when it rotates it rotates from where it's actually gonna be open from now if we open it up like this you're gonna notice that we have all of those ridges and the detail that a window would have just make sure that if you're going to be rotating this, you move it outwards just a tiny bit because it's supposed to have that piece over here that interconnects both of those windows. But for now, we're just going to leave it in like that. So with this, we basically have the frame and the inner portion of our window. Now, all we got to do is make a few more tweaks so that we can use this in our visualization scenes. And those tweaks are quite simply adding in the places so the edges of our windows are not that sharp and they have a little bit more detail so that when light hits them it can actually give us a nice highlight from the reflections of the lights so first of all what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the frame here i'm going to press alt q so i can isolate it and the first thing I'm going to do here is add an edit poly on top of our bevel profile. Now, with the addition of the edit poly, I'm going to go ahead and first of all, select all of these four edges over here and press the loop. So with that, I actually have a loop around all of the corner edges. Now I'm going to click on uh, chamfer, give it a bit of a twist like that and make sure we have two segments over here now what that did is it put a single edge in the middle so i'm going to select that one hold on control select this one when you double click on an edge it selects the entire loop like that there we go oh, make sure you select the inner one and now simply extrude this inwards for about and give it a bit of a width now the reason why we did this is because all of these pvc and aluminium windows uh, if you have one at your uh, house or your home you can probably see that at the edges where the aluminium meets you have a this little bit of a crevice 
or that little bit of a, a hole, which is where the aluminium uh, comes together. Putting in details like this does wonders for your uh, renders later on, and when the light hits all of those crevices, it gives off a nice AO effect or ambient occlusion effect. So now the second step is select all of these edges like that. You can select pretty much any of these. Just make sure you have all those selected. Click on loop, which is going to go all around. And with this, what we're going to do here is we're going to add in a little chamfer, a very small amount, like something tiny, as tiny as that. We can either use one or two segments. And the reason for putting in this chamfer is, like I said previously, when the light hits it, it's gonna give, uh, it's gonna leave a nice uh, highlight on the edges, like that. And with this, we have this portion here finished and isolate. And then I'm gonna do the same exact thing to our inner portion of the window. So again, edit poly. I can kind of stop the video here and do this without you, but I can detest doing that as I know for myself how much I hate it when I'm watching a video and the guy goes, I'm going to back in a second and then he does something and you have no idea what he did. So you will have to bear with me for one more minute while I do exactly the same thing that we just did on the previous part. Like that, again, extrude. Put it on the inwards, give it a bit of a width, again, cool. Select all of them, loop it together, give it a small chamfer, a very small chamfer. In this case, though, it's interesting because the edges over here did have a bit of a rounded approach, but in this case, I can even skip out on those. So let's do that. I'm actually going to skip on that edge one, like that, and let's loop now. All right, that's cool. All right, chamfer, very small amount like we did previously. There you go, two is going to do fine. Click on OK. And there we go. We have our external frame for the window. And now the only thing that we are missing is the panel for the windows and the glass. I mean, the, the glass. So the easiest way to do it was would be to create a rectangle one over here. Hold on, shift, click it once, make two copies. There we go. Now, select these, right click, convert to an edible spline, attach them all together like that. And now we can control the height of all of those windows with just one click and drag. Now, since I did this like that, I'm going to put an extrude so we actually do have some height to that glass. I'm going to make it smaller. And I just need to position this in the right place. So I'm going to click there, put it there. Since this is going to be these two guys, I'm going to select them both, isolate them, put it in here like that. And now, when I go to the, put this on the top like that. And now when I select the spline, I can drag it upwards. So I get the height and with the help of the extrude, I'm going to control the width of those, of that glass. So I'm going to press alt X for now. So it's a see-through mode. It's easier for me to see and isolate. I'm going to select both of these, give them a more visually appealing color, like that. And there we go. We have our inner and outer uh, window. For now, I'm going to select these two, attach them together so I can 
may at least give it a more interesting uh, look so you can see what we've actually did here and again i'm going to go and detach this just make sure you select both of them or the three of them detach and detach Again, make this see-through and here we go select and hide these guys and there we go with this we have our model for our window frame our actual window and the glass and all of this with the help of a sim uh, simple bevel profile and scribbling down a few profiles so with this we can end our video here and you can take what you learn here and apply it to whatever size and shape of windows and window frames you might have in your scene and get the same exact uh, amount of details for your scene and I hope you guys had fun you managed to learn something new again if you have any questions leave them below I will meet you all in the comment section of the video and also if you enjoyed the video then please click the like button as it does really help a lot and if you're not subscribed now is a great time to do so as always thank you very much for watching and I will see you all in the next video and bye bye for now